Hey, welcome to another episode of All Lives Lost. I'm Tony, and this is where I get to play some of my favourite retro games. And today, I'm actually playing probably my favourite game ever. It's Tempest 2000 on the Atari Jaguar by Jeff Minter, otherwise known as Yak. Or more recently, Jeff Minotaur. After, he, after he's just released uh, Polybius, which is a stunning game on the PS4. Anyway, back to this game, Tempest 2000, 1994 game released on the doomed Atari console, the Jaguar. Uh, inspired by the original 1981 game Tempest by Dave Fiora Fiora, I don't even know how to pronounce his name. The original was amazing. I played the original one, uh, but this is Jeff updated psychedelic version. Uh, for those who don't know Jeff Minter, um, his games are original, different, trippy, highly playable and addictive. He's the guy who created Grid Runner, Attack of the, Attack of the Mutant Camels, Revenge of the Mutant Camels, Return of the Mutant Camels, he likes camels, Hover Bother, Sheep in Space, he likes sheep, uh, Mama Llama, um, as well as various light synths, which are basically sort of psychedelic light shows you can create on your computer. Just imagine a Pink Floyd light show, but on your computer, and you can actually control it all. He, he's, he's, he wrote them on the Atari 8-bit, Atari ST, um, the Xbox as well. Uh, as a, game on the uh, on the on the Atari Jaguar uh, back in the 90s I, I probably got to about level 70 70 odd 80 odd never completed all 99 levels once you hit 99 apparently it goes back to the beginning in beastly mode which is like full-on difficult impossible mode which I never got there anyway uh, apparently on the Atari Jaguar or at the Atari Jaguar launch party in New York uh, the creator or the designer of the console saw a demo of this and actually told Jeff Minter that he thought it was a pretty poor demonstration of the machine's capabilities but Jeff kind of ignored him and uh, went on and completed it and it turned out to probably be the best game on the Atari Jag. Uh, when I bought my Atari Jaguar in the 90s it came with Cybermorph which was a pretty good game and I also bought Aliens vs Predator, which is an amazing game, and this game, Tempest 2000, which is the best game. So, sh should we play it? Okay, so before I go on, I was going to say it was released on the Jaguar and later on the PC, Saturn, and PlayStation 1. I think Jeff Minter kind of slagged off those other versions because it hadn't got the true sort of. Um, AI of of the original. There were certain things that some of the aliens, the creatures, whatever they are. I don't even know what they are. Um, did which wasn't true to his original uh, version. So should we have a go anyway? Let's let's have a go, shall we? I mean, the other thing I want to tell you about in a minute is the uh, techno uh, soundtrack, the, the hardcore breakbeat soundtrack, which you hear in a minute. Uh, so you can play the traditional, which is the original game. Tempest Plus, which is somewhere between uh, the original and the new updated version, and Tempest Duel, which is multiplayer. But let's go to Tempest 2000. Let's have a game of this. You can select, once you play, you can select what level um, you start at. Uh, here's the soundtrack I was talking about. Amazing soundtrack. I wish I could remember who it was uh, written by. I think a group of people it was. Um, and I actually bought, back in the 90s, I actually bought this soundtrack on CD, still have it in my collection. Absolutely uh, love it. It is, it is great. I must see this on Spotify. Please. Anyway, I've got on CD anyway, so we can uh, play it anytime. We'll play it in the game right now. Right, let's get on with it. So, here we go. That's 
my ship on the outside of the grid, you'll see in a minute. There we go, that's me. So I rotate round. And basically, I kill. Oh, I just missed that power up. I've got to kill these. Oh, oh no. I've got a smart bomb there. See, ah. Oh. This is going to be a unbelievable for you. I'm missing the power ups. When you kill some of the creatures, they can get power ups. You get better weapons. You get a, like an AI droid and you can get the ability to jump off the grid so if any of the creatures get to the end. You get, uh, Oh, what's that? What's that power up? 
Triangles on the top right, so that they you need three, four of them to get the bonus. Demonstrate the light since live. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, oh. You've got to keep going through. I find it difficult. I find the bonus levels. That was the bonus level. I mean, I find it difficult to get my points and more lives and stuff like that. Let's see if we've got any uh, throws. Oh, did you see him get to the very end? You grabbed me. Oh, 
lost my jump there and then realized another alien got to the end as well. But just keep shooting when you jump, just keep shooting and rotating around the grid and you'll kill anything on the end. What?
couldn't quite. This is a difficult one. If you're on the smart, uh, the smart bomb then. Too late, obviously. I forgot this. I forgot there was a different one. Gotta stay on the green track. Oh god. Oh no 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 no. Oh. Ah. Oh. That is so difficult. My, con my control is so wet. Uh, this control is so delicate. I think it's getting serious because the, the lines on the, the web now are red. Yeah. You can tell you're getting quite far. Oh. Oh. Thank you. 
Idaho. <sighs> Trippy. Game over. Love it. So, that was Tempest 2000. Jeff Minter. The classic game on the Atari Jack. Well worth checking out. You can play it in an emulator. Or play it on the original hardware, which is the best. With the big controller. I kind of like that. Uh, you can also have a PC, Sega Saturn and PlayStation 1, but not as good as the Jaguar version. So, uh, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, until next time, take it easy. See you soon.